17 Feng Shui Jade Plant Benefits and Placement Guide With feathery, oblong-shaped leaves and dense, woody stems which look similar to small tree stumps, the jade plant, money magnet is a highly regarded scrumptious houseplant. It could sprout to be between 2 to 6 feet tall with a little care, but it grows gradually just about 2 inches per year. Let's focus on why many Feng Shui experts strongly suggest Lucky Jade as an excellent Feng Shui plant in more depth. According to Feng Shui, Jade is identified as the Jade Plant, Wealth Plant, Lucky Charm Plant, or Penny Tree Plant. Also, we will talk about Feng Shui Jade Plant meaning, placement, and benefits. Jade Plant Significance in Feng Shui There are several unique plants and herbs, but the Feng Shui Jade has profound and fascinating Feng Shui significance. It's just out of this world. Deciduous trees, such as the good luck tree plant or money plant, are a kind of succulents. Money trees, also known as jade trees, have stunning jade green hue leaves that represent development and regeneration, and therefore mimics little coins, making it a lucky charm to attract money and fortune to the possessor. The jade tree is a well-known good luck tree that is said to stimulate money energies. The jade plant gift is a typical business presentation that many company owners set near the door of their establishments or stores, even in a southeast position, to bring fortune and wealth. Gifting Jade Plant and Feng Shui A classic Feng Shui gesture is to give a jade plant as a gift, particularly in business ties. The first encounter between business professionals is frequently marked by the exchange of presents, including a jade plant gift. Whenever a new company gets a jade plant as a gift, it is fortunate. This plant may be given as a housewarming gift, as well as for birthdays, nuptials, anniversaries, and other special events. A jade plant placed as an entrance plant at the doorways of eateries or stores, or toward the southeast, offers growth and progress. It exudes a vivacious, deeply rooted vitality. That's the kind of ever-increasing enthusiasm you'd like to see mirrored in newfound cash. The money tree plant is said to provide favorable vibes that will attract wealth to the home or company owner. Reasons for calling jade plant the money magnet It's known as the money plant according to Feng Shui facts due to its high coin-shaped leaflets and capacity to hold water, and that is symbolic of wealth storage. Feng Shui scholars and intellectuals fully believe that jade's broad leaves enable it to retain excess water, symbolizing the family's ability to retain more riches. The jade leaves are typically circular, and that's a sign of currency. The leaves are supposed to indicate the earth or metal element per Feng Shui seeing as they are representational for coins, and certainly, metals have certain magnetic characteristics that attract comparable energies. Once it pertains to Feng Shui, lucky money location is crucial. Although the plant offers positive energy and optimism to the home, it is said to be more helpful when it is situated in workplaces, study rooms, etc. According to Feng Shui, the tree can help to balance energy and promote collaboration to the home and relationships. As a result, putting it in residences or living rooms will be just as useful. Most scholars agreed nonetheless, that the plant performs best near an entryway, where it could more effectively draw money. Placements for Jade Plants According to Feng Shui The East, Wood Element, region is a good spot to put this plant for good luck since it encourages family peace and wealth. For a needed financial remedy, set a jade at your office doorway or in your workstation. Jade Plant Placement for Bedroom if you follow Feng Shui, your jade plant ought not to be kept inside the bedroom or bathroom. The draining water in the bathroom or the bedroom is said to have the ability to remove the jade plant's good energy. Plants produce an excessive amount of yang energy. Plants should never be used in a bedroom. Jade Plant Placement for Front Door In terms of location, Keeping a jade plant at the front entrance or as an entrance plant is thought to bring favorable feng shui and wealth into the household. There's also a phrase, jade by the entrance, no longer penniless. 
to guarantee a successful company and inspire continuing expansion, install a jade plant at the entryway of your storefront or other company, such as a cafe or jewelry shop. Outdoor Jade Plants The jade plant is a good luck plant for a home. Adding some jade plants to your yard is a personal choice based on your surroundings. If you reside somewhere with hard winters, you may put the potted tree in your garden during spring and early summer and bring it inside when the weather turns chilly. All these are part of jade plant care outdoors. To trigger riches, grow the tree at the southeast corner of your yard. Caring and Maintaining Jade Plants It's simple to learn how to care for and maintain jade plants also known as Crassula ovate. Water, temperature, light, and fertilizer are the most critical variables to consider while cultivating and carrying out jade tree care. 1. Light The amount of sunlight that jade plants get is also a crucial part of their care and upkeep. To develop correctly, they require full light. They may grow dwarfed and leggy if they don't get enough sun. 2. Potting When selecting the ideal pot for your jade plant, there are many various factors to evaluate. The good luck tree will end up having strong, woody stalks and thick, copious leaves, for openers. As stalks and leaves sprout and stems lengthen with development, the plant could turn top-heavy over a period, despite its modest development. Furthermore, because the plant cannot accept wet feet or moisture accumulating at the lower part of the pot, it is critical to supply a container with sufficient drainage to avoid this situation that can result in rot disease. It is also crucial to provide the best potting soil for jade plants. Considering these factors, a ceramic container or a robust plastic container with excellent drainage, which keeps the soil and root against getting too wet, is the ideal choice for a jade plant. 3. Soil Just one important criterion for soil for jade plants would be that it drains quickly. The jade plant, which is endemic to South Africa, has evolved to survive in close to zero stony, sandy grounds. Jade plants have a proclivity for becoming top-heavy, while their thin roots render them vulnerable to overturning. The jade plant is best anchored in somewhat heavier dirt that includes more organic content. Jade plants may thrive in acidic or mildly basic soils, but in excessively higher or lower soil pH, they might suffer from nutritional deficits or toxic effects. 4. Water Throughout the summertime and winter, the tree needs varied watering regimes. In the winter, the plant may only require irrigation each 7 to 14 days. Moisture the tree occasionally a week during the summertime. Overwatering the jade plant is not a good idea, however, if you do, make sure the tree has a chance to accumulate the excess water before actually watering it again. Touching the earth is an easy way to detect if the tree requires to be watered again. You would like the soil to keep moist, whenever it evaporates over, it's appropriate to hydrate it. 5. Temperature According to Jade Plant Care Guidelines, jade plants thrive in temperatures ranging from 60 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 to 20 degrees Celsius, throughout the day and 50 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 to 13 degrees Celsius, during the night. However, if they receive plenty of sunshine, they will thrive in temperatures greater than this. If you leave your jade outside throughout the summertime, make sure to move it inside as the temperatures start to drop to roughly 60 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 degrees Celsius, in the fall. 6. Fertilizing Fertilize the jade plant just once every six months to ensure optimal upkeep. Choose a water-soluble fertilizer that is regulated. It's essential to remember that you can always water the jade plant normally first, and then with nutrient water. Once the soil dries, do not fertilize the jade plant, since this will cause some damage to the root. Jade plants must only be given a small number of nutrients. Use a diluted solution of a normal liquid flowering plant manure or a cactus and cactus fertilizer. 7. Pest and Diseases 
The mealybug is perhaps the main frequent jade plant parasite. At the seams where leaves and stems meet, mealybugs develop white, stringy spots. Their oral parts puncture plant fibers, allowing them to suck on the nectar. Common questions on Feng Shui jade plant meaning, placement. Are jade plants toxic? Consumption of the jade tree has been discovered to be somewhat harmful to people presenting mild discomforts such as diarrhea and vomiting. What variety of jade plants is for luck? Crassula ovata is otherwise and best known as the lucky charm plant. Is coffee ground ideal for a jade plant? Yes. Jade plants can benefit from coffee grounds since they are a good source of nutrients. Is direct sunlight required by jade plants? Per day, jade plants require a minimum of 3 hours of direct sunshine. What is the outcome of watering a jade plant too much? Discolored leaflets, leaf fall, fragile leaves, and brittle leaves are all signs of flooding the good luck tree. What causes the falling apart of jade plants? Jade leaves may fall early due to excessive wetness or dryness, a deficiency of nitrogen. What is the lifespan of a jade plant? They could survive at best 70 to 100 years even though they have a slow growth rate. How do I save a jade plant from dying? To bring a dead jade plant back to life you must duplicate certain of its growth circumstances. Bottom line You would like to make sure that the jade plant you choose is healthy. Opt for a tree with a strong trunk and bright green foliage. The stalks of many of these jade plants are rubbery and flexible. Avoid plants that are lanky and lack a strong central trunk. You'll like to go with a plant that symbolizes health and stability and best acts as a money magnet.